There is a second world. Yeah, look at that. There's a second world in Ice Cream 5, and it's a secret. Nobody ever knows. What's up, dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're going to be exploring Rod's house. So, basically, I have no clip now in um, Ice Cream 5. I'm able to fly around, zoom everywhere, and see everything as I want to. I, I literally have superpowers now. This is all possible because of Outwit, so you should check him down below in the description. Check out his channel. He did an amazing video on this. He's such a genius. I don't know how he figured this out, but look, I just have superhuman abilities to go through walls. I can see everything. We're gonna discover all of the stuff here today. This is messing around to the extreme. To begin, I wanted to discover some stuff that uh, I had a question about, and um, we're gonna be doing that all today. I wanted to see if this thing actually nope. led to somewhere, and it actually it doesn't. It doesn't. I remember saying in our, what is it, one of our previous videos, I was like, I wonder if we can come down into this room and see what's in here. And it turns out that's nothing. There's nothing in here. <gasps> Whoa. It's just so crazy to just see the inside of everything. Like, over here is the extraction room. Like, I think that in Ice Cream 6 now, it's crazy to even say that. Like, this is going to be opened up probably, right? I, I feel like they can't not show us the extraction room. <laughs> Right? But look, this is where the museum is supposed to be, and it's all empty. I guess to make it so that the game doesn't lag. But yeah, there's nothing here anymore. We can we can build our own little house here. <laughs> That'll be our giant area. Oh gosh, to explore. <laughs> but the thing I wanted to explore today was this. And I remember showing you guys when I broke out of uh out of the zone over here, I I literally used traps to like climb up here. Like I climbed up onto the roof and I wanted to explore the house over here. And it turns out it's empty. Like, look, if you go in here, it's empty. And you know, I guess it makes sense because if they loaded in everything all at once, then the game would be so laggy you wouldn't be able to play. But um, Outwit made a crazy discovery. So if you literally zoom up out of here, Watch this. In a second, you'll see the craziest thing happen. So, off in the distance, do you see that kind of light over there? There is a second world. Yeah, look at that. There's a second world in Ice Cream 5, and it's a secret. Nobody ever knows. So, if we zoom on over there, this is where the cutscenes take place. Now, if you don't know anything about gaming, um, basically how this game uh, runs their cutscenes is that it opens up an instance where the camera follows like a pre-recorded animation. So basically, when you go and click the little memories button, it spawns in the cutscene right here. We're literally here in the cutscene. So, <laughs> wow, it's so amazing. Just to see everything in the light of day, it's like, Jeez, we haven't even gotten a day map in forever. It's like ice cream two. Like when was the last day map that we got? Wow, wow, but there it is right here. I want to look in the window real quick. It kind of feels creepy. It's like if, we, <laughs> if the cutscene was going on, we're just standing there, like <laughs> waiting for him to do stuff. We're <laughs> literally exploring Rod's house. It's like he just welcomed us, welcomed us in. We're like, hey, thank you for inviting me over, Rod. I just wanted to see the place. Wow. This looks so cool. <gasps> so is this like the first ever Rudy the Refrigerator? And um, if you're new, we used to do a thing back in Ice Cream 3 where we would just have like random words put on the refrigerator and I'd react to them. My little brother would put <laughs> words on there like, but what is it? Like uh, pizza, pizza is good. <laughs> just seeing that randomly on the refrigerator. That was the funniest thing. I wonder if we can actually look inside and see what's in there. There's nothing in the refrigerator. It's completely empty. You'd think that there would be something in here. Some food. I mean, what am I supposed to eat here? So if we were looking at Rod's perspective in the cutscene, this is exactly what he sees. He's like eating his like cereal or something. And I don't know why there's grapes here for some reason. I guess there's grapes here in the second cutscene or something, but we're looking up and Joseph Sullivan sits on the chair there and he's tying his shoes and we're like, come on, dad, let us have some of the ice cream. Like, be a good dad and let me have some ice cream and be a kid and have fun. Nope, Joseph Sullivan, you know, does all these shady things in the factory over there that you could see now in the window. That's so cool. Um, yeah, and this is like the perspective that we get to see. We could live the life of Rod through his own eyes. Now, the big question is what is in this refrigerator? Is it something big? Is it a big old thing of ice cream? Is it a batch of brains? I don't know. Nope. It's... Hold on, it's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> I mean, what was I expecting? There's nothing in here. They wouldn't load that in. Imagine there's a little like note here that says like, please, Dak Blake, um, stop glitching the game and outwit. Stop helping him do it. 
Yeah, I pretty much would say something like that, right? <laughs> Today, we're discovering a little bit more about Rod's childhood. The Sullivan household has never been much of an accepting part of his life. With his dad leaving him alone, only to think of his own thoughts, he's left to wonder. What could happen? Now we can finally discover the secrets that Rod hides, who he is, and why he is the way that he is. Today, we're discovering everything about Rod. Uh, such as, is, does he like fishing? Is, are these his favorite logs? Also, what did he do to the water mill? Rod, Rod did you break the water mill again? Rod! We're discovering Rod's backstory or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So it's all a lie though. It's <gasps> all fake back here. I'm sure, like I said before, if they loaded this all in, it would lag the game immensely. But yeah, it's just like kind of like a, a fake factory, this whole thing. Wait, whoa. Yeah, this is like the brightest version we've ever seen of this garage. Dang, thank you, Outwit, for this. Like, how would we ever even see this? Now the, th oh, wait, whoa. What is this? I'm flying on back to like the normal area and I discovered, I think this is the pipes. Like in the beginning of the game, you're like, you're seeing a cutscene like through the pipes and I think this is what spawns it. So like I said, whenever you see a cutscene, it literally takes your camera and puts it into a little location. Same with over there. So I think these are the beginnings cutscenes areas. And oh yeah, and down there, that's the like ending cutscene where you're in a refrigerator. Wow, you're getting to see all the little like, like underlyings of the game here. So I wanted to do something uh, for a while and I think this will be like, like making it way easier, but we can actually go and eat all of the marshmallows and see the cutscene, right? So let's go eat all the marshmallows if we can. I don't even know where all the locations are, but I think with no clip, I could do this much easier. All right, so I'm on the hunt looking for all of those marshmallows so we can see that secret cutscene live here today. And it feels kind of weird. Like I'm literally like floating above all the desks here and I could just be like, hey, Deborah, did you finish the work? No, I'm not standing on my desk. I'm flying. It's not that much weirder. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, Jason, what you doing? Yes, Deborah, I am standing on my desk. Seven out of ten marshmallows. Literally what I'm doing right now, if you don't even think about it, is I'm some guy zooming and flying through walls and then eating marshmallows, like, furiously. I'm literally just like... <laughs> Ah, more marshmallows, please! Also, if you didn't notice, when you eat a marshmallow, listen to like the weird sound it makes. It makes like a... It's like, yeah, it's gross, listen. Like, who eats a marshmallow with like... Like, I'm like, it feels so weird, right? All right, so this is the last one and you guys have been telling me to get it, so boom. Congratulations, you've eaten all the marshmallows and now we're able to see the complete story told by the painting. So, I haven't seen this yet. Maybe you guys have seen it because you guys have been telling me to do it, but maybe it's incredible, so. Oh, it looks like the same so far. I like how he's like, this is my school, we're in the, he's like explaining everything. Okay. Go Rod, sing! Yeah! Yeah! <sighs> okay, so what's different? What will we do in class today? Hmm. I want to learn about plants. Okay. And animals. <laughs> this is the, the same, right? At my school I have so many things to teach me. Man, he's Why so are happy. Older people so serious. Ugh. When I grow up, will I be bald and fat too? Ooh, I don't know. Yuck. Will I be someone important? I hope so. Okay. Sometimes I, I try to remember who my mother was, but I can't so right here is anything. where it normally ends. So let's see. Yeah, he goes this, and he gets. <gasps> mother, who are you? Where are you? Whoa. Why can I remember? Why doesn't anybody know anything? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's so confusing. What? The sun just disappeared. Well, there's more? Soon I'll be oh, this is the nun in like... Oh my oh. gosh. You just saw her soul just leave her body right there. 
Oh my gosh, this <gasps> all makes sense. So like the nun did the whole like demon sacrifice thing to take the soul of her daughter who died and put it into the new child, right? So right now, yeah, right there. Whoa, that's so cool. Boy. Oh. Oh, but she's mad that he's a boy. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Oh, and that's that's what we normally see. Basically, we got to see what he was thinking in his head. Yo, that's incredible. So. Uh, a little bit of backstory for those who don't know, um, with the, the nun, she had a daughter who died and then she made a deal with like this demon in order to get the soul of her daughter back. But the soul of her daughter, I guess, turns into Rod, which she's like, no, that's wrong, I guess. And you can see she's like, it's a boy, like what? And so I don't know what happens. Like I, I'm tying theories together, I guess, but like, I think that she like essentially treats him very badly and then he it's like he doesn't want to be associated with her i remember in ice cream 2 was it that we got to learn all about his sad childhood and you could see that something happens something catalyzes an event after this point and i think it's that key you see he got he ate the um the ice cream probably turned giant his dad probably was mad at him and was like son why did you eat the ice cream i literally told you not to and he's like why are you doing this why are you trying to make children like fat with ice cream? And then probably this whole thing, man, that's so much backstory just right there that we miss if you don't have that secret ending or cutscene thing. So yeah, I guess that his his childhood was just led with torment because the kids would bully him. His mom had nothing, what didn't want anything to do with him. And his dad was very furious at him all the time. Not only that, his dad was probably consumed with the fact that he was making ice cream all the time in this factory. Rod probably felt so alone which is so sad. All right, I want to do some messing around and I can imagine doing so many videos just with no clipping because right now I want to see what happens if I call myself. So right now I'm playing as Jay. I'm going to go to Mike's area and let's go over here. So I don't even have to open the door. I could literally just walk on over here and call Jay. I'm calling myself right now. Do you see this? Yeah. What? Cool. Sure, we'll get out of here soon. <laughs> I'm talking to myself and I teleported to myself. What? <laughs> Wait, so do you see I'm still I'm still myself though. That's so weird. Okay, if I call Mike and become Mike, right? So I'm Mike right now. Can I call myself? Dude, the game is breaking. He's mad at me for some reason. I actually, I kind of know the reason. I'm kind of just destroying his reality. No big deal. <laughs> see, I'm Mike right now calling Mike. Mike is just standing there. He just snapped into existence. He's like, oh, hey, what's up? Hi, Mike. Oh, hi, Mike. I'm Mike. Hello, Mike. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, man. So we can do so much in this. Can I just like start spawning traps everywhere? Can I get Rod to come outside somehow? So where is Rod right now? I don't even know where he is, but I know he teleports because... There's so many where like places where he tell oh there he is there he is I see him I see him I see him oh wait no that's not him ah he exploded okay I uh, I think I broke the game guys I don't know what I did but um yeah I did it again as you can see I am attached to Rod and I oh gosh she's teleporting everywhere <gasps> whoa you can kind of see exactly what's going on now he literally does teleport he closes the door boom he teleports he's outside now oh my gosh. So, um, I was trying to fly through and I got stuck on the ladder and then he caught me. He's essentially punishing me now for flying. He's like, nope, you're going to stay here. It's very weird and I don't want to, I can't, I, I can't move. I actually can't even detach myself from him. Do you see how glitchy this is? Yeah, I'm still attached to him. It's almost like I'm playing as Rod, but like in third person right now. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Dude, <laughs> we've found the playing as Rod glitch. <laughs> now we can kind of just see it. Well, I guess we're not even really playing as Rod, but more like seeing life through Rod's eyes. Oh gosh, it's so glitchy. I think I broke the game completely though, because I think if I try to like restart the game, I think we broke it. This is like the first time this has ever happened though. If you like catch him at the wrong time, he'll just like attach you to him. He's like, he just staples you to his chest. And I think it's probably gonna, 
Oh, why did I? Oh, I just started there for some reason. And here's Rod working on a car all over again. He's not even doing anything. He's kind of just like, woo, I'm gonna give, <laughs> I'm gonna give my car a belly rub. That's what he looks like he's doing. Man. Okay, so now that we have no clip, like now that that's possible, what should we do? We should do like so many things. Can you not see me? Hey, I'm right here, man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, he doesn't care. I guess he doesn't care anymore. So uh, I think I'm gonna go and move into his house. It seems very nice. It's better than living in a factory. Bye, Mike. Or yeah, I guess I'm Mike. Bye, Jay. Jay's just gonna stay there the entire time. Remember when Jay called me and said like, okay, it's all up to you now. I was like, cool, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, well, this is my new place. Moving right on in. <laughs> Sounds good. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out Outwit down in the description. This was all possible because of him. And being able to explore this house was like the coolest thing ever. And also, thank you guys for telling me the tips about the marshmallow secret thing. What should we do next? How should we mess around in the game and play it differently? I'm excited to see your suggestions. So. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing. We're going on to 2 million subscribers. I thank God every day that I'm able to just play this game differently and have fun and make you smile. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in that next video. And as always, peace out, my dudes.